Hello YouTube, we're the Diecast Guys again in another episode, Action Packed. Yeah, and today we'll be reviewing our very first auto art signature model. Um, this is the uh, 118 Lexus LFA Nürburgring. And um, let's start with the exterior. And so we'll start with the front. And so um, this car just looks just amazing. You know, it's, it's just great. But it's not our signature, so of course. So we'll start with this Lexus badge. Looks very nice. And then you have also the headlights. They're also really good looking. And then you have a grill that has a mesh and some um, texture. Also the middle grill. This also has some texture. It's mesh. Same thing with this one. And then if you look down a bit, you'll see some carbon fiber. So the carbon fiber looks really nice. That's just kind of accented all over the bottom of this model. You also see some right here as a fin. That's just to give it more aerodynamicity, which looks just great. And then also the hood has two vents with, of course, mesh, which has a nice texture, which... um holds the um, amazing V10 tuned by Yamaha. So if you look to the side of this diecast model, you'll see an uh, orange reflector, the um, fin that I was talking about earlier, carbon fiber also, and then also these awesome BBS rims. These are special to the uh, Nürburgring edition of the LFA, and they look awesome because I love BBS rims. If you look a bit to the left, you'll see this F logo, that's for the Lexus F Sport division, which looks pretty good. And then one thing I'd like to highlight on, uh, which is a bad thing, is the um, mirrors, which are so flimsy. In fact, the um, right mirror, uh, it fell off, um, and I had to super glue it back on. Even though it looks really... Durable, not really. Yeah. If we move over, you'll see the um, key lock. Um, the key lock where um, you put the key in. And then if you look up a bit in these greatly crafted vents with mesh here, you'll see the door handle right here where you just poke in. You just push your hand in and then pull. And that's the door. You also look down a bit and you'll see these awesome vents with aerodynamic body shaping stuff that just looks pretty awesome and then also you see the other rim and that's about it for the right side so if you look at the rear end of this uh, deck S car you'll see these three beautiful exhaust pipes I just love these so much it's my favorite part about the LFA and I just can't even say how much I love them and then you also see this um, gold LFA lo um, LFA logo, which is also um, painted metal. And then, if you look a bit to the left, you'll see the um, Lexus logo, which is also made of metal. And then this um, this rear light bar thing. If you look down a bit, you see this um, awesome LFA license plate, which looks really nice. And then the um, the rear lights also. They look really great, and the um, the vents. They also are there's vents right under the rear lights, and they're very they they feel great to the touch. Also specific to the Nurburgring model, these there's these little mini spoilers here. They're lip or deck spoilers. They look really nice, and you can't really help but notice this this huge, beautiful, awesome carbon fiber spoiler. I mean, I love spoilers. But this carbon fiber one just looks amazing. You see carbon fiber down here and here. And I don't know. I just love it. Mm. On the left side, there's nothing different than the right side. Um, there's just these windows, which you'd expect from an auto art signature. And we'll open up the door because it's easy to open for a bit ride to go and do the interior. As we start off, um, we start off with the door. A uh, little bit complaint. It's a bit flimsy. Which, I mean, not that flimsy if you're going to take good care of it. Um, uh, there's going to be 
there's like carbon fiber right here, which is pretty good detail, and it's good to touch too. And we have that little speaker right there, and the door handle. I mean, it's a Nuremberg ring, so it's not gonna have the buttons. And we have that little red thing right there when it lights up when you open the door. And then we move into the inside. Then we have there the silver plated pedals, which is a pretty neat touch. Then we have that little footrest right there. You're not gonna really see it, but it's take my word for it. And then we move on to the steering wheel, and it's got a good little logo badge, logo uh, Lexus badge, <laughs> logo badge, <laughs> Lexus badge. And in there we have the dials, and oh, it also says F right there under the steering wheel. F Sport Division. Then um, we got that little turning signal. I don't know why that's there, because who's gonna turn the signal on a track? Then we have only one dial in the middle. That's the speedo. The and then remember, it's an electric um, rev rev meter because this thing revs really fast. Um, and it's got a little dial on the little measure temperature gauge for the heating and oil and stuff. So and then we move on to the center console and it's like it's a little divider between the driver and it's not, it doesn't have like a little cut between them. And then we have that little mouse there for the person to choose whatever he wants to do. We got a little Lexus writing right there. And it's and then we have a little knob right there to pretty sure it's for the music. Then we have the then we have the sat nav screen that looks like it's actually on. It's got that weird illumination that's like on and it's pretty creepy <laughs> if you ask me there's also some carbon fiber lining the center yeah. console that too move on to the seats and they're buckety of course and then they have that we they have a little suede feel um and then you have the belt buckle right there which which kind of moves about <sighs> can't reach it which moves about and stuff, so it actually feels like you're gonna, you can pull it down, put it into the buckle right, buckle right there, which is red. And both seats are both are both have that suede feel. And then we move on to like the footrest area, and it's got that felt right there, which is nice to touch. Um, that's about it from the inside. All right, then we move on to the back with the little defrosters right here on the on the back windshield then um surprised I can actually do this without thing um the little panel comes up for the little trunk space there's so also some um, hydraulic um things there it's not really hydraulic but it's yeah. like in well, the real one yeah but this one's just like some plastic yeah. and we have on this side we have a little light light thing right there when you open it up it has the light comes in, see what you're looking at. And this trunk isn't big, but what are you gonna take? Uh, what are you gonna take to the Nurburgring? Maybe some pants and stuff. Not really. And it's got that felt, of course, with the nice to touch. And uh, that's about it. From there. And I'll open up the hood now to reveal the the um, Yamaha tuned Lexus V10. And also on this car, there is a um. Hood bar, I forget what it's called. So I'm just calling it a hood bar that goes down to hold the engine up. It doesn't oh. actually hold the engine cover up, but this one goes yeah. from the top to bottom. Yeah. And um the mechanism is basically the same as the Kyosho GTR. And so to hold the engine in all nice and snug, there's a carbon fiber engine bar here. And um do you see that if you zoom in here really far in you see that you c the camera doesn't pick it up, but it says tuned by Yamaha, and there's a Yamaha logo there. That looks really nice. You can see under here um, two of the V10 cylinders. Um, there's the rest of them back there, which I, which I like that the engine has depth. Um, and then there's not really much to see with this engine because it's covered by this panel right here. And that's about it for the engine. That this um this this model is um not a fake. 
Yeah, the uh, auto art sent us a certific cer certificate certificate of authenticity. Can't, can't, I can never say that. Yeah. Um, and it says it says a couple it says a long Some sentence. Some words and stuff. About yeah, it. about the getaway auto art limited hereby certifies that the one eighteen diecast model is a replica, exact replica. That's nice to know. Lexus LFA Nurburg Nurburg package, in the whitest white. <laughs> That's an interesting color. Um, and it's authorized by Toyota Motor Motor Company, and it's the one hundred one thousand eight hundred and third to come out. And it's got that little logo and stuff there. Our signature. And uh, this, the LFA, it's Best the car, car right there. Yeah, best car in my collection. Now move easily. on. We should actually make a news section. Yeah, we're doing it, we're, we're doing okay. it like every but, time. But um, yeah. not it's not official because we're, yeah. we're probably not gonna do it all the time. Yeah, but um, just uh, I just like to shout out a cool model car that I would probably like to get. Uh, it's the Mercedes SLS Black, AMG Black. You know how AMG has their tuned up cars, and then they have the Black that's like the super tuned, super fast with the giant. Carbon yeah. fiber spoiler. We we yeah. saw one at the Mercedes dealer. It's still yeah. there. Yeah, it looks really nice though, and um, I just wanted to shout it out. All right, then thank you for watching um, this video. Remember to episode. like and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.